the brigadier employed Joe Grant as the doctor's new assistant. Along with Captain Yates, they were immediately plunged into another nesting invasion of Earth where the brigadier met the master for the first time. At a time when the doctor found himself picking up many of the brigadier's phone calls, a woman from 2020 called Unit in the 1970s for advice on dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. She spoke with the doctor, Joe, and the brigadier, who was outraged to hear unit operations had suspended by 2020. Before they were called away to deal with an urgent situation, all three gave advice, with the brigadier noting regular people needed to self-isolate as a military campaign would not help. On call, when a wave of violence swept across Britain, the brigadier met Persephone again and his memory was restored. The brigadier also found himself against Hades and so he and the doctor had to make an alliance with the master. Lethbridge Stewart oversaw unit when it provided security for a world peace conference, while the doctor investigated an unusual machine at Stangmore Prison. However, both their jobs coincided, as the master had devised an elaborate plan to disrupt the conference, first through an assassination attempt and then through a hostage situation at the prison. With the doctor trapped inside, the brigadier and unit infiltrated Stangmore to retake control and rescue the hostages. However, the master's allies within the prison hijacked a missile as well. Due to some careful bargaining by the doctor, the master was distracted enough for unit to destroy the machine and the missile, although the master managed to escape. While the doctor was investigating temporal anomalies in Dorset, the brigadier received a call from a woman who revealed that she was the leader of unit in the future who had come into the past through the temporal anomalies. The brigadier accepted this explanation and assured the woman that, based on the impression he had received of her during their conversation, the future of UNIT was in safe hands. UNIT troops took charge of a crashed spaceship near the Newton Power Complex in southeast England. The brigadier accompanied the doctor, Joe, government minister Horatio Chin and some scientists in gaining access to the ship and encountering the, seemingly benign, axons. They then presented their new material axonite which could do many wondrous things but it was Chin who gained possession of the axonite before any negotiations could be started. It became clear that the master was helping the axons to invade the earth and unit troops fought many battles against the now hideously tentacled beings. They were only stopped when the doctor managed to put a time loop around their ship. The brigadier and Joe tried to dissuade the doctor from experimenting on a new dematerialization circuit. He stepped outside for a moment after an agent claimed to have a lead on the master. When he returned to the laboratory the TARDIS, the doctor and Joe were gone, however it rematerialized in front of him immediately. When the doctor and Joe investigated an archaeological dig in the village of Devil's End, they discovered the master masquerading as the local vicar. With them and other members of unit in the village the brigadier was unable to access Devil's End because of a heat barrier which had been generated by the master. He and his men eventually gained entry through the barrier, but could not pass the animated gargoyle Bach, who was unaffected by gunfire and a bazooka shot. When Bach was rendered immobile after the demon Azel's powers turned against himself, the brigadier and unit managed to arrest the master and take him away to stand trial for his many crimes. Major Carver, the father of a soldier vaporized by Bach, held the brigadier and the doctor hostage until they told him his son had died fighting against Victor Magister.